In the mid-1980s, Canada and the United States were negotiating an historic free trade deal. I've never been a flag-waving nationalist, but as a Canadian performance artist, I began to worry about Canada losing its identity, and it became a theme in my work. The Thousand Island Bridge emphasizes the tie between the two neighboring countries. Presiding at the International Bridge opening are President Roosevelt and Prime Minister Mackenzie King. That the US, Canada is essentially uh, Honduras, but you know, colder and much less interesting. As they become a more belligerent power, and really very widely disliked in, in many parts of the world these days, I think Canada has a better reputation in the world, and they would like us to be on side with a lot of their projects. Canadians, if we want to put it this way, we were the original anti-Americans in the sense that we declined to join the United States. You know, the idiots who negotiated the Free Trade Agreement and, and the NAFTA Agreement, they gave the Americans pretty well everything that they wanted. They're tough, you don't, you don't mess with the states. Our military spending and our trade with the United States, I think, come together, uh, not in the Canadian mind directly, but in the American mind. Water is a huge issue, and there is no question in my mind that there is going to come a time in the not too distant future when an American government is going to come to Canada and claim water, which is in the trade agreement, a tradable good, and consider it an act of war if we say no. Um, and I don't think one Canadian government is even beginning to understand this.